Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, we're going to talk a little more about Journey as they're making the news. Good and bad news. Good news is they're on tour. Nothing's happened. No postponement of any shows. And other news, they're still bickering among, amongst e each other. And we talked about that with uh, uh, Arnell... Uh, the lead singer's uh, recent tweets and things said, hey, you can fire me at any time. So uh, Steve Ajuri, one of the uh, lead singers back uh, in the day, he started back like from 1998 to 2006, really got him back on the map because he came in, you know, uh, and they started at clubs. They was just getting all back together. That was when in 96 they broke up. Uh, with Steve Perry, you know, on issues, uh, and he took over. Um, he also made an album there two or three years into it. But uh, the main thing is Steve uh, Jury came and started out with clubs and made it back up to arena tours with Journey. And then he actually left the band. Because of vocal issues, you know, them Steve Perry hits, uh, it tears your vocals up. So, uh, and he was just asked about today's event that's going on. And, you know, he said he hopes they can, uh, you know, work it out. He said they're just going down one dead end, dead end lane if, uh, if they don't work it out. But uh, he was uh, stating, you know, it, it, it with them going back and forth in, in this uh in the news, you know, in the media, that it doesn't look good, uh, and he hopes, he, he hopes for the best of it, he was asked if he would rejoin the band if, uh, Arnell was kicked out, and, and he said no, he said, I've, I've been there and done that, uh, don't want to do it anymore, and he says, my, my voice cannot take it, too, he was, uh, very honest, but, uh, there's your journey news, uh, for this episode, and, uh, we'll see you next time on Metalhead Nation Garage. Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to talk about REO Speedwagon today. Big, big classic rock band. Back in the days, 70s, 80s, uh, they was on top of the chop charts for years. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about them. They're making the news today. As uh, <clears throat> everybody knows, uh, Dolly Parton was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And with her promise of that, she de decided to say, hey, I will make a rock album since I am inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So she is doing that at this current time. And uh, Kevin Cronin, the lead singer of... Uh, REO Speedwagon, the band leader, as you know, of REO Speedwagon, has remade it one of their biggest hits ever, uh, Keep On Loving You. And uh, he said, you know, on this version, they really recorded it how it was supposed to be. He said he, he remembers when it came out, and it was a big hit, that he remember fans, you know, chatting with him, at, you know, before the show's VIP uh uh, clubs and stuff that, hey, uh, we played this at our wedding. This is what our wedding song was. And he said he couldn't believe it because it's not about that. It's, uh, you know, perhaps, you know, people got it that way. He said he, he, all he could think of is that they didn't listen to the lyrics, but, uh, he said it's kind of like a breakup type of song and him and Dolly, uh, performed it like that on her new album. So, uh, be on the lookout for that. There's no date for this, uh, Dolly Parton, um, album release, but, uh, again, um, uh, REO Speedwagon has recorded this Keep On Loving You song with Dolly Parton. And that'll be it for this episode of Metalhead Nation Garage. And give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel.